victim of gender inequality. It's not okay. It's not okay that you can't see my curly blonde hair, my rosy cheeks, or even my smile. It's not okay that you only see my eyes, but don't look deep enough to see my pain. These rags that conceal my body are no more than a fortress of suppression. Or perhaps they were designed to conceal every bruise and scar I must carry in silence. It's not okay that my mother and grandmother were treated as no more than objects and possessions by our fathers and grandfathers. It's not okay for our daughters and granddaughters to share this faith, to live this hell. You see, our story was designed to have no end, a story that should never be told. I will read to you from the chapters of my life. It begins with my conception. What true love? Nothing less than rape. Yet my mother carried me with pride, perhaps wondering if my father's other wives felt that joy. But that joy was stained with despair, for my mother knew her fate I would share. As a child, I was taught to accept my reality. But my little mind was always busy questioning what I refused to accept. Five sisters, eight brothers. But how could we be from five different mothers? Five wives who share one house. One man who shared five wives. Love was never fair. Love was never true. For in our home dwell jealousy and envy. And from my father, I never heard I love you. A castle where my brothers were kings and a kingdom where princesses never existed. It's not okay that a little girl can't run and play. It's not okay that I never felt the sun tingling on my skin. It's not okay that I was told not to dream, to aspire, to yearn for knowledge, to think about adventure, to want to see the world, to be different, to be normal. A childhood filled with fear, reprimand and punishment was seen everywhere. Sticks and whips and words that tore my soul apart. I often wondered if the men I loved had a heart. I was taught to read and write, but there was no need for me to aspire, to excel. My education was basic, for I was never going to be a doctor, a lawyer, a professor. I was destined to cook and clean, to serve and be quiet, to endure and never question. The young boys would never see me as their equal, just something to be had. I would never know respect or much less compassion. Never would my story be one of romance, of falling deeply in love and sharing a happily ever after with the man of my dreams. My marriage would be arranged. I would be bartered and paid for, and their will shall be done. A vicious cycle, unbroken chains that span generations. But I refuse to accept this as my end. It's not okay. Thank you.